Buckmaster, Aljo, Aljamain Sterling, and it's nice to see him get his flowers, right? I mean, certainly you were there in 2017 when he lost to Marlon Moraes, and a lot of people sort of were writing the book with closure on Aljamain Sterling. A few years later, best band in the world. I mean, best band in the world, and showing, you know, from winning the title in a disqualification to coming back and beating Purion in the way that he did, then dominating T.J. Dillashaw in the way that he did. It shows you who Aljamain Sterling really is. But tonight, he's gonna have to be very specific in his approach if he wants to beat this new oncoming challenge. And some of you may have heard Aljamain Sterling this week talking about a potential move up to 45. Could happen as soon as next week. Tonight, though, back on the proven ground in his customary 135 pound runs. The Funkmaster Aljamain Sterling, ready to battle take home that elusive UFC goal. Augusto Tanquino Mendez, UFC veteran there, firmly in his corner, but you're right. We haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm. As he... Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Aljamain Funkmaster Sterling. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Phantomweight Champion of the World, Sugar Sean So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Great. Right, here's the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, ready to go tonight against Aljamain Sterling, and these guys have gone back and forth a little bit, but Aljo understands the challenge that is in front of him here tonight, and uh, we'll see how he chooses to proceed. Most expect he'll try to grapple. When I look at the matchup, I feel it's the boxing of O'Malley versus the grappling of Aljamain Sterling. But how does Sterling deal with the in-between? From striking to wrestling that will allow for him to get the fight to the ground, to get the fight to the ground safely without getting hit by one of those bombs from the Sugar Show. O'Malley gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Oh, big knee. All right, good start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight. Barker's leg kick rounds his opponent with a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's 
hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Knee on belly. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Both fighters get up now. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. And Mix is in a takedown. Why not? He loaded up there on that high kick. And again. Right hand over the top. Nice leg kick. Block that one. Sterling's cut above the eye. Another big kick now. O'Malley gets back up again. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big right hand there. Oh, that's big. Sterling going for the takedown, but unable to land. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. All right, Jeb, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. Oh, oh. Round two next. All right, heading back to the corner, and Sterling's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw. holds up. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Strong, a two-time Division three all -in. Smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. There's that left hand. Oh! Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that old hand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh! And now he oh. oh, he hurt him again, bro. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 
the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. Well, remember the name Sugar Sean O'Malley who gets his hand raised inside the octagon yet again here tonight. He had some doubters coming into this matchup.